So Robert, I bet it's nice to have a full week's training for once. Obviously looking to continue with the momentum from that Sunderland game, I would think. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been enjoyable. It's always good to, to get on the grass with lads and work on things. 100%. The, 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 the momentum from Saturday was really good, um, and, and yeah, we got you know the, the key thing is you've got to remain fiercely competitive, and and then keep working on the things that are going to turn, as I said, these, these one points into three points, or possibly you know picking up nothing into a point. That, that's the key. Yeah, and you, you could sense the, the sort of positive energy around the place. I know it's a very positive environment in general, but mm. you could see the real buzz amongst the boys, maybe from that performance. Yeah, and, and it's because everyone knows that, that, that we're close, you know, but you can't keep talking, obviously, about how close we are. You, we've, got, we've got to get those three points across the line. And, you know, there's, there is so much that we do well, um, and, I, and I keep saying the same thing, but you've got to make sure that you're not anxious because, you know, those key areas, those key elements can be a little bit of anxiety so it's key that you keep them relaxed but at the same time you've got to remain fiercely competitive you know you have to because that's been our key all season you know there's been 19 games where we haven't lost out of the 31 um, the problem the issue with that there's been far too many draws that's been the issue but then you look at the the 12 losses and bar four we have been fiercely competitive there's only four games where I've gone well with you know weren't at the races and I'll probably only go Oxford was the only one that we weren't there from the beginning and that was after three weeks the rest even Rotherham away you know first half we were very much in the game and got away from us so you only have to look at goal difference in leagues to tell you teams that are, uh, are competitive and we are very competitive but we've got to change those small margins and we know that we've got, we've got to get those small margins going in our favour. Quite right. Um, how's the squad looking for the weekend? Obviously, a few enforced absences because of suspensions, yeah. um, but in general, how's it looking? Challenge, a bit challenging, I can't look, deny. Um, obviously, we knew we didn't have Mac and I um, both through suspension, but Rudy's looking a, a huge doubt now. Um, and also, we've lost Anthony Hartigan, um, so Ant's um, dislocated his shoulder, so Ant's going to be out. We're hoping only two weeks, but it could be up to four depending on how it re reacts. So, not ideal. Not ideal, it's been not ideal, and um, and obviously Rudy's yet to pull out of training today, so he's a big doubt. So it does leave us short in certain areas, but you know I, I trust all the lads here, and, and we come together, we come up with a solution. As I said, and the key thing is that no matter what side we put out, we we are fiercely competitive, and that's what we'll be again on Saturday. Certainly, and then. Obviously, Bolton coming up. It seems ages since that game at Plough Lane. Obviously, it was crazy free-free draw. Um, they're a bit different now. Maybe obviously signed a few players in January. You expecting sort of a different test? Yeah, it is. You know, I, I did have a look back. Obviously, in that game in the summer, just was we looking at a couple of things. And there, there's a few things that changed. But they were a very good side then, and, and they're a very good side now. Um, they, they obviously had a good run of form, and then they lost during the week. But um, no, they're a good side. Really, really dangerous on transition and when they come at you, and possibly I'd say want to keep the ball even more than they did when we played them um, earlier in the season. So yeah, we're fully aware of the challenge ahead, but we've got to also focus on, on what we do. And I thought we did that really well against Sunderland, hence why we limited them to very little, and, and we had more than enough chances to win the game. So um, yeah, we we know we know what they're about. We know what all opposition are about, but we have to really focus down on what we're going to do and how we're going to win the game. So really, obviously, you've already touched it. Next two games are about you know those players coming in and you know perhaps taking the claim to stay in the team for the rest of the season. Yeah, once 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 I decide who's in there, as I said, you know I don't think Rudy's anything long term, but it, it, it could put him out for Saturday, and it's a little bit longer term. But then we got Woody should be back hopefully within the next two to three games. Um, then you have got Prez coming back, so you know there, there's is and it's as I said the key thing is no matter who we put out, everyone knows their jobs and we're fiercely competitive and that we can offer you know 